Hey, penny fish. It's the second day of June, 2018. We're into June, and this is crazy. I believe this is the month of justify, justification, judgment. We got Pride Month. We got, oh, this is just crazy, you guys. I mean, I have to do more or less just blabber videos, you know, um, because I, I exaggerate not. It's it, it just, I can't sit down and look at more or less anything without just a literal flood of light being shed on the darkness of this world everywhere I turn. And I want to share everything with you. But I'm telling you, man, it, my capacity in the sharing aspect of it, you know, I am who I am. But boy, it's all in my heart and in my head, and it's just fantastical. I mean, all oh, glory to God, what he is showing us. Anyway, that's uh, that's enough of that. Th this, this video surfaced in my face again yesterday, right? And a lot of you probably remember this. This is from last year, okay? This is May 19th, 2017. And it's this huge buck in this cathedral in Paris, France, okay? Just wanders in and wanders right up to the altar and hangs out in this massive cathedral. This huge, I mean, picture-perfect rack on this thing. It's unbelievable, right? Because when you think about where this thing was, it blows your mind. Because this is probably one of the most densely populated parts in the world, in the heart of Paris, in this giant cathedral, okay? And I'm getting my Google Earth running again because I just have to show people. Every time I come to the map, I want to just show you guys the absolute undeniable layout of Lucifer when it comes to these grand cities and whatnot, right? But that's for a later time. This cathedral's right here. And this is just nuts, right? It's in the shape of a cross. You can't really see it. The architecture on this thing is just so mind-boggling. I can't wait to show it to you sometime. But anyway, that's where that deer just wanders into this giant cathedral in this part of the city of Paris, which is really, it's, it's impossible, but there it is. And it's a real video. Okay. May 19th, 2017. And the weird part is yet to come because the first thing that this reminded me of was Antonin Scalia. You remember Justice Scalia from the Supreme Court, the judge, right? He died a very, very mysterious death a couple years ago on 2016. On February 13th, he died in Texas at a very strange hunting uh, camp, I guess you'd call it, right? And I can go so deep into this, but, you know, the place he was at had some very strange regalia, let's say, in it. You know what I mean? Uh, had some very weird sculpture and, you know, things that one would probably deem satanic, let's say. Okay? So, he dies there very mysteriously. And then they drive him around the desert. They don't autopsy him. It's completely mysterious. And then they end up just shipping him off to Washington, D.C. So that he could be ritualized in this four-hour ritual in a giant cathedral. In Washington DC after this is the deer is a year and a month or so after Scalia okay after this this is just how crazy it works this was February the 20th 2016 okay that's his son right there in this this outfit here look at this even even their outfit look at that the demon Right smack dab staring you in the face. That's what it is. This thing was a giant ritual. Giant ritual. That's what it was. And so they ritualized him on the 20th. And, you know, I've been messing with these dates. It just comes upon me to look at it. But I just wanted to do it. So I punch in 
February 20th, 2016. And I go to the 6th because there's a, there's several reasons why I go to the 6th. And it all involves justify, the triple crown, number 7, justify, okay? In the second leg of the triple crown, which will be in Belmont in a week from today, this all fits together. But they ritualized him on February 20th. And to the 6th, it's 838 days, 119 weeks, 2 years, 3 months. I won't get deep into the numbers because the pattern is what I'm showing you here. The cathedral. The cathedral. Do we see a little pattern here? 838. 383 from when the deer showed up in the cathedral in Paris in 2017 to the 6th. 383, 838, 1111. And I'm just telling you, there's so much more to this, but I have to offload this stuff piecemeal because my, I just, I, it's all I can do. That's all I can tell you. It's all I can manage. <laughs> but my goodness, you guys, this is just ridiculously crazy. Okay. Remember the connections that Scalia had to this whole, uh, this is the St. Hubertus International Club. I mean, my goodness, you guys, it's absolutely crazy. It, it really is. And it's all satanic. Every single bit of it, satanic. St. Hubertus. Yeah. And there's the, the uh, cathedral right there in Paris. That's nuts. Wait till you see that whole situation when I get my Google Maps, my Google Earth going again. Unbelievable, the stuff that I just want to show you people. I really just, I'm just moved to show you how architecture and the planning of cities worldwide, in particular cities are more so, obviously, but you can just see and understand that you live in a world that has been let's just say, dominated more or less by the spirit of Satan because we are in sinful flesh. And you need to understand the story of the garden. You need to get into the Bible. You need to pray for truth in order to understand the truth and know exactly who you are, where you are, where you stand, who your Savior is. It's, it's just imperative that you do it if you don't know the truth already. And Jesus Christ is truth with a capital T. And so that's who you need to seek. And let's see. Yeah, wait till I... This is just so crazy, you guys. I, I really wish I could articulate it better, but I just wanted to share this with you because when it came across, I was just hit to share this with you. And the reason, the reason I go to the sixth is because it's kind of... a, a a focal, focal point between now and the ninth, because the ninth is the running of the Belmont Stakes. And that's what tied me into the whole justify with Justice Scalia to begin with. So do you see my pattern that I'm following here? But it also goes into other things and ties into other things. It's absolutely fascinating. It's so awesome, you guys. Ties into the Six-Day War. Okay, ties it. It's unbelievable. But I'm just showing you that this is just manifesting. It, the, the, the things that have been hidden for millennia are now coming into plain view. And you need to want to see it. You need to, to just put aside the fact that you've been duped. Humble yourself and ask for the truth. And it will set you free. Literally. Eternally. Okay. So do that today. Perfect day for it. Yeah, so I walked away from this video for a while, and I remembered some other stuff that I wanted to add on here. We, we have tomorrow this world's largest Israeli block party in Times Square. And I mentioned it the other day, but I didn't really go through it. Okay? Um, it's very interesting, and I do want you to watch it here for, you know, just for a few seconds because it illustrates some things that just kind of like, you know, 
hit upon my spirit a little bit, understandably, you'll see. Just watch and listen to this. It's it's quite interesting. Do you Now, that part right there, when I saw it, that really caught my eye. Okay, I mean, we can go through the whole thing if you like. Starts out here. It starts out here with the golden arches. Okay. And then at 13 seconds, we see a tidal wave and then a single drop. And now, we could analyze that all we want, but I'm just telling you that there is something here. Okay, because I just want to show you the pattern, the continuation of the pattern that I was showing you before. It just illustrates that we're in a this extremely highly spiritually charged time that's that's really culminating people. I mean this is uh this is really coming to pass. You need to be in the right place when it does. So we have that tomorrow, which may also be uh Pentecost essentially, if Nick Vanderland is correct. All right, so that's just fascinating in and of itself. Okay, and then we have the Kentucky or the Belmont Stakes coming up. Justify seven seven seven, the hundred and forty fourth uh, Kentucky Derby. I mean, these things are just revelations, just showing how this world operates, and it's and it's all the glory of God, and and it's gifted to us because we approach him humbly you know and, and ask for understanding and truth and he gives it to us it's that simple so this whole time frame this next week two weeks i see things pointing all over the place to the summer solstice to the 13th the 12th george bush's birthday on the 12th that i showed you some of that stuff it just shows us that it's it's manifesting quicker and quicker every day every minute and we have to be prayed up like always, always, always seeking the face of the Lord. I'm just telling you this is what we need to be doing. Because this stuff doesn't lie. And, you know, my spirit agrees with what I'm seeing and what I'm showing you here. That's all. So, as always, keep looking up. Keep praying up. Keep armored up. Okay? And peace and grace to y'all. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 